Hi guys, I have a card tutorial for you today using the Simon Says Stamp January Card Kit and a stamp set from Little Miss Muffet Stamps. But first I thought I'd go through the Simon Says Stamp Card Kit for January uh, to show you the contents uh, and what I will be using. This is the stamp set uh, for this kit, which I won't be using. This is a very lovely sticker set, which I was planning to use, but ended up not using. <laughs> see i can't use every product on every card these really cute sprinkles it's like uh enamel dots with glitter inside they are going on the card i really like these little stars i'm gonna make sure i get a winter shaker card done with those and here is the pattern paper most of the products from this card kit is actually coming from dual bug designs and i really really love their uh papers and everything because they are so cute they're cuddly but they also have a whole bunch of really good kind of proper background papers um, and they work awesomely great with the little miss muffet stamps so um, i love combining those two brands all the time so that is all the papers that you get in the kit also get this glitter tape uh, which I really, really like because it has a lot of glitter. It, it's really, really glittering. You get the uh, lollipop as usual. And then you get the little inspirational sheet uh, with a couple of designs that you could use the card kit for. Then you get a whole bunch of cardstock. Uh, this time six different cardstocks. Most of them are Simon's Stamp cardstock. And I really like them. They're very sturdy and nice. This is the little image from a little Miss Muffet stamps that I'm using for this card. She is called uh, Polka Dot Pals Lirian. Uh, really, really adorable. And she's sitting in her comfy little kind of cloud cushion and reading her book with all the stars around her. I really like the image. I really like the kind of cuteness of it and um, I also really love these polka dot pals because you can make your own little faces on them and if you don't feel like making your own faces you can either not have just a face just color the skin a skin um, or you can actually use the, their stamps that they ha have that actually is face stamps um, and this helps you actually get more out of the polka dot pal stamps you can use several different faces for different characters um so yeah i really i really really like the the little Miss muffet stamp stamps for the coloring of her i'm using my favorite winter colors which is e50 e00 e21 e11 and e04 and i kind of trying to to make a face uh, sh shadowing, giving her a little bit of eyelids and um, leaving kind of the highlighted parts and then covering the E50. Uh, for this time I'm actually going around with the same colors about one time more because I felt I didn't get the depth I wanted and I didn't get really get the eyelids the way I wanted. So I went in with the uh, darkest of the pens once again just to add that little bit more of dimension and shadowing and making her look a little bit more rounded and not so flat that I felt she was getting in. Uh, this also helped me to kind of uh, develop the shapes a little bit more, adding shapes where I wanted them to be look more and, and stuff like that. Um, I really love going over one. Sometimes I feel like, oh, this time, the first time works worked out pretty good and sometimes I feel like I just want to go over them again. Also giving her some very pink she uh, cheeks um, and using the E63 to kind of give dimension to her eyes. I wanted to give her eyes because I always feel strange when I haven't colored the eyes of the character because it feels like she doesn't have any. And I get a little bit scared. I wanted to give her a little bit of eyelashes too and I'm using this dark sepia. Um, this is one of those pens that you should not color over with your Copics because they 
isn't Copic fast, but they have this teeny tiny little brush and I thought it would be perfect for the eyelashes. And I felt the face was done. So I are not allowed to go back over the face or the eyes because I would smear her eyelashes. Like a non-waterproof mascara or something like that. Uh, then I'm going in with her hair and I decided that, well, I didn't want to give her brown hair. I wanted to give her red hair with kind of brown roots and shadows. So she gets these very, very dark roots and very light uh, tips, which I kind of like. It, it looks kind of cute on her. Um, and I'm using, I'm starting out with some E colors. So the E E18 and then the E08. The E08 is a little bit more orange um, and the E8 I think the E18 is actually called brown just straight up brown then I'm going in with my YR pens yellow reds oranges uh, the uh, YR18 is very similar to the E08 um, and then the YR16 is pretty orange but because I'm actually going up over with the YR21 which is more of a yellowish color kind of muted that bright orange that the YR16 is. And again, I'm actually going over the hair uh, one time more, just with the EO8, to just build up that dimension. Then I'm going, going in and doing some very, very soft shading on the stars. All the stars is going to be gray. And I really not fully matter how much shading I get on them because I'm going to use a Wink of Stella silver glitter pen which has a lot of silver color in it so it hides most of that shading and then I'm going to give those very cute fluffy slippers some uh, fluffy dimension by just doing small 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 streaks like it got fur just a simple um, as they are not supposed to be the focal point, I kind of made them, um, didn't make enhance the details very, very much on them. For the pants, I'm shading them in gray, but that they are going to have a, um, a little bit more color later on. I almost forgot it, so it's in the end of the video. Uh, for her pillow, I wanted her to have this blue pillow, which matches with the pattern papers that I showed you earlier. Um, also, she is going to have a minty green shirt to also match up with those papers, even though I don't think I ended up getting a paper that had that minty green in it. Uh, just because they are in the paper pattern paper, I know that it will fit together with the, all the other papers in the pattern paper pack. And that is uh, one of tip of for me, if you are struggling with uh, choosing colors, I usually choose color after I choose uh, papers. So I usually try to match them up with the papers. And even if I use a paper that basically just have one color in it, uh, in the pattern paper pack, they're usually uh, four to five different colors that match up very, very good with the other papers. So. That is how I pick colors, one of, of the ways I pick colors. So the minty greens is my blue greens. So the 49, the 15 and the 11 uh, to just give her a little pop of color to make her stand out from that pillow. Added some black pens to the eyes of her slippers so he didn't look so st starry. I felt like he was staring me down. So I gave him a little bit more black, still having some of those white dots in there. And then I used the silver pen, uh, both on the stars on the pillow and the heart and her uh, clasps in her hair. And here you see how I work with her pants. I'm giving her kind of adding to the lines to different blue. The lighter blue has little thicker lines than the darker blue. Um, and yeah, I cut her all out first so that I had much smaller paper to cut with. Uh, that's also a tip for me when you're cutting. Uh, try to cut a rough cut around her. It's much easier to cut a uh, fussy cut around a character that way. So she's done. Now I'm going to do the sentiment. I'm going to use these um, 
little letters. Uh, these are uh, make it crafty uh, cardboard letters. They are beautiful words, I think they are called. I really like to play around with them and I kind of remembered I have them, I have to do it. I, I've recently been cleaning my uh, craft space and reorganizing and finding a lot of things in my cupboard that I almost forgot I had. And I really like this and I th thought that cuddles would be the perfect one. You will see I turn it around when I cut because the angle of how I cut um, is differently. So if you just turn it around you can get a closer cut. So for the sentiment I am going to heat emboss it and I am adding a uh, Versamark to the whole piece but I'm only adding a started a little bit more than the half of it. I'm starting with the embossing powder um, and that I shake off and then I use my heat tool to melt it uh, that I've done. I really like the silver one because it's kind of grayish matte and it melts to this really bright shiny silver. Yeah, I really like that. And then I'm going over again over the other side. I waited, waited for it to cool off a little bit before I did that. And I again go over with the embossing powder and heated. I found this goes much faster and it's much easier than trying to hold on to the whole word, word uh, with all the embossing powder on it. Now I'm going to cut down my pattern papers. I've chosen to, to use uh, three of the pattern papers in the kit and I'm using them in different color grades and honestly if I have these papers more of these papers because you get one of each sheet in the kit. If I had uh, the whole pattern paper pack, I think you get two of each sheet in, in those. I would actually have redone the card front um, because I feel I put them in the wrong order. I'm gonna have the lightest as the background and then the darker, the darker you're coming forward. I would have switched that and have the darker in the background, but hey, Sometimes things happen and I kind of wanted to show you the card anyway. So I'm cutting all the pieces down. I'm cutting the card base to be a 5 by 5 card base. So I cut it to 5 by 10. Um, and then I'm going to score that at 5 inches. The silver cardstock I cut at uh, 4 and 3 eighths, 3 quarters by 4 and 3 quarters to give it 1 eighth of an inch border. And then the uh, dark blue cardstock I cut to uh, 4 by 3 eighths by eight, 4 by 5 eighths by 4 by 5 eighths. Um, so everything is 1 eighth of an inch smaller except for that silver that is 1 quarter smaller than the card base because then I got a little bit of a bigger border for the white and I kind of like that especially when I uh, layer many cards on top of each other I like to variate the width. Then I'm going to use these really adorable cloud dies by my favorite things and going to cut uh, small cloud parts to um, be able to stack on top of my um, on top of each other to kind of make it feel like she is among the clouds. Um, she's reading a book and I know that when I was a child I read a lot and I kind of like to stay among the clouds in my little fantasy world uh, in my books and I thought that this would be the perfect background for this card. Uh, I kind of envisioned this card to be something that comes uh, for a child or a young teenager and um, together with a package with a book in it. I'm using this uh, Tombow glue to uh, ad adhere that little sentiment. Uh, you could use um, other liquid adhesives. I do recommend liquid adhesive though because it will be easier to get it to stick and it will stick better. And then I just add it at the bottom of that card 
um, and let that dry while I put some foam tape on the back side of our little uh, Lyrienne. Um, and to finish the card off I'm going to use those uh, glittery enamel dots uh, just kind of throwing them out there a couple of them um, thinking about the um, kind of there is one in fo photography and design you talk about having uneven amounts of things so I'm having uh, three on one of our sides and three on another side because I thought hey that could look good um, I really like these enamel dots I actually do have a whole bunch of different packs from dual the bug design just because um, I love how much glue it is on them and the sizes of them so I need to use them more add more s small little details to my cards but yeah that was the card for today I hope you liked it if you do please thumbs it up it means a lot to me if you have any questions just comment down below and down below you can find all the details and materials used for this card. So thank you again for watching and I see you later. Bye!